Hey everybody, and welcome back to Star Maid. I'm Dugamus, and we're playing on the Prolly.org sandbox server. Today we're going to be checking out the new rail blocks. The load and unload rails. Now, I've got two lens cap cargo pods and some stuff in my inventory let's see what else I have well this will do I got blocks in my inventory so we're gonna do some testing okay so first things first these cargo pods are designed with no way to get inside so because of the new permissions for loading and unloading we need to go to this uh, loading and unloading rail setting it's defaults to always ask and we're just gonna always allow because it's the simplest for our purposes we're gonna jump out of the cargo pod and we're gonna do the same in the second cargo pod we're gonna jump in we're gonna to go to the load unload settings change it from always ask to always allow so this will let us do whatever we want to these cargo pods without it asking or caring about faction settings or anything of the sort now we're also going to go into a build block and we're going to go to space station and we're going to do the same thing in the space station always allow so that should clear up any permissions issues you can play with the permissions yourself at some point so we've got some stuff we want this stuff to end up in this cargo pod so first we're going to go to this cargo pod and it doesn't matter if it's well it matters if it's pulling to load it if it's not pulling it won't load so we're going to add pull everything a thousand and that should pull to its heart content and never ever pull anything because we're using a standard rail right now okay so because we're using the standard rail it has no special features but we want to load the cargo pod so we're going to use a load rail so we're going to change that rail there in the middle to this rail and then poof the cargo's gone now let's say we want to get it back we set pull all to a thousand it's still on loading so it's still trying to pull from here but if we switch it to this unload rail we can unload the cargo and the next tick It brought it back, but we're having the bug where it's not updating the cargo blocks. So this does indeed have all the cargo in it, even though they're not showing up here, which is fun. So let's go to this second block. We want to quickly get everything in here, so let's set it to a thousand. And let's load it all up. Next ticket's gone. Okay, 
So now let's do something more complicated that these rails let us do. We're going to go here and we're going to clear our poles because we want this to go much slower so we can we want it to go much slower so we can see it pulling it item by item down the chain so we're going to set it to one okay so this is now going to pull one at a time when we tell it to now we're going to go into this docked ship here, my Corsair class. And we're going to tell this one that we want to pull just one of everything as fast as we can. And let's go outside for a second. There's a cargo pod underneath here. And we're going to tell it we want to pull one of everything. Okay, so. Bear with me, this gets a little complicated. We need to go into my middle control room. We want to load our pod and it's in the middle row. So we're gonna hit the top button because that's just how my system works right now. I'm in the middle of updating it to the new rails and I had to use this room for all the complicated controls oh I almost forgot we need to set our permissions if we don't set our permissions, we could have something funky happen where somebody's not allowed to pull something from someone else. And this demonstration will go very badly. So we're gonna jump in here. We're gonna do the same thing, always allow. Now you can set the permissions to whatever you feel safest. I'm just setting it to always allow for purposes of the demo. Okay. So, we set that to pull. And now we're going to go over here. And we're going to access some hidden controls that I hid under here. We want to load the ship. So, this is a load block. We're going to set it to load the ship. It changed this block into a load block. So, so far, we should still be doing nothing. Nothing should be happening because we don't have... We don't have the block that has the, the ship that has the, the cargo pod that has the stuff in it set to unload so the ship set to load we set it to load that cargo pod now we're gonna go back over here and set this one to unload now I don't know if we'll ever see anything hit this spot Oh, yep, it will. Okay, so something's actually being loaded into here. And then we're going to go in here. Mm. 
not a thing. Okay. Did we make a mistake? This block is not linked to the cargo. Okay, so we linked it to the cargo. Because we're stupid. And we go back in here. And now there's stuff in here. And we're going to go outside. Down to the cargo pod. And look, the cargo pod is starting to fill up. Now, this is an illustration of a chain. But basically, you can leave your pulling on your chests at all times if you want to. Whatever complicated setup you want. And it works as long as you have the right rails set. Um, I really like these new rails. And I think they're kind of amazing. I mean, it's exactly what I thought the rail system would do when they originally announced the cargo stuff for the rails. Uh, and I mean, I think they said that these icons were tentative, but they're apt they work now what I don't like that you can't do is you can't you can't go and just link a rail to another rail it doesn't let you but if you could, you could transfer it directly back and forth between two docked entities, but instead you need a little buffer zone. Whatever, a buffer zone's easy. A couple sets of controls, and you're good. But on these smaller ships, obviously, it can get quite complicated. And, I mean, this isn't even done. If I were to take this ship and dock it, have another ship dock to me, I still don't have the controls set up right to feed out of the, the rail here. So, as I said, it is a little complicated, but... It works really well, I think. So, I'm Dougamus, and this has been StarMade on the Prolly.org sandbox server. Catch you next time.